Hello and welcome back to what we believe might be the final episode. Now, I, you know, I, I keep saying that. I've said that in podcasts. I've said that before. I'm not saying it again, but we're here. And for the vodcast element on YouTube, you can see me. Hello. We're playing second edition. We're playing Pathfinder Society Arc Lords Envy. Not Doomsday Dawn. I don't know why you keep asking me. We're not going to do it. If anything, we would do the missing episodes, but I digress. We were in combat. We were out of combat, and now you're right back into it with the murderer. And I don't mean Stan Sean Pike. I mean Nagasi, or at least someone fitting her description. Deeked around a statue, lovely huge garden, Squee is in there, and I believe someone lobbed a fireball. How rude. Kane is on our initiative order. Was it you that threw that fireball, Mr. Aiden Williams? Yes, I chucked that fireball and she promptly got rid of it. I am angry. That is terrible. Are you done? Yes. Right. Moving on. Next up, we have Abdima. Maricel, you are on deck. Abdima, what do you do? I begin casting a spell. Right. Abdima begins kind of speaking in a strange, definitely not his regular voice. And suddenly, you see the ghostly outline of a horse appear in front of him. Ooh. Very cool. Which he then mounts. Okay. Cue the DM to conjure up a new mini. <laughs> so you cast a spell, and as a move action, you mount? Or mm -hmm. do you want to do the swift action ride mount for free? Or is that only a... No, you have to have the mounted combat feat for that, don't you? I don't believe there's any swift actions in this game, so... Oh, right. Sorry. Second edition. Yes. So, three actions. Cast. How many chevrons did that spell have? One action. Verbal. Okay. So you cast, you mount, you have an action left, right? I do. Sounds good to me. Um, I will move into position to charge out the doorway. Okay. Move your mini. Pretend there's a big horse under you. Mini pending. So you're just lining yourself up? Yep. All right. And that's you? Are you done, sir? Um, that is me for now. All right. I'm placing a horse on the board, and we will just sort of, you know, try to keep you under it or you over it. Boy, that looks terrible. <laughs> okay. Maricel, you are up. Arles, you are on deck. Get ready. And if you're not up or on deck, you know what to do. Mute the microphone because people are starting to pay for this extra content and video content and they don't want to hear flip 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 on the microphone. What's up? All right. Um, so Mariseal is going to move once. One, two, three, four, five, six, and twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just checking real quick here to see if. Uh, it takes a full round to do that, so I am going to put on my wizard's hat and robe. Uh, no, uh, uh, that's it. That's it. Yep. No wall climbing. No stabby daggering. Anti no nothing. Anti just, climbing. Getting in position. Getting in position. All right. Arles, you are up, sir. Arif, old man, you're on deck. What do you want to do there, Arles? I'm going to move once, five, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to do it again, five, 10, 15, 20. And then I'm going to move again, five, 10, 15, 20. Uh, how high are these hedges? Good question. Um, they are, well, Let's say that... Um, Waist high? 
Not enough to really impede you. Okay. Maybe enough for concealment, not really cover or slow you down. However, the circular brush towards the middle looks very heavy, and it is considered difficult terrain. Fair enough. That is my go. All right. Arif, you're up. Squee, you're on deck. What do you do, Arif? Oh. All right, so I will move to there. Just taking a move action, and then I will activate a power, which is, survey says, oh yeah, that's right, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Love that power. Let's see here, and let me fix myself on the map so I can show you where I cast it. Right there. Okay. Because that's the last place I saw her before she winked out of existence. Thank you for not metagaming. Well, I just happen to have a fireball on hand. Left hmm. over from the last time. Can you give me a corner of a square or the center of a square that you ping again? Yeah. Give us a ping. Right there. All right. Now, do you have line without hitting that statue? Or is it best guess? Uh, you don't get cover from a fireball. No, but if the fireball hits a statue, it goes off prematurely. Right? No. No, fireball, no. You, choose, you choose the location and it just appears out of nowhere. It isn't cast a fireball from your hands. It's, it's not the little P from you. Know, no. No, it's choose a spot, explosion from nowhere. Yeah, I mean, essentially, I'm going right. I can't quite hit the square because it's rolling off the intersection, but I should be able to hit it without touching anything. All right. You ready for this? Faboom! She is literally, see this? Just on the edge of that line and out of range. But you incinerate the crap out of the apprentice. Wait. Uh, no, it's backwards. I thought. I Frank, thought the. What's the radius of the fireball for you? Uh, let me look. I don't know if it's fifteen or twenty. It's twenty. Okay, well, going from the fireball, center twenty fireball. foot burst. From center of the fireball to her, it's twenty feet. I've got my little template. I I I realize, but I'm using the measurement device. Yeah, I'm using a template, which edges squares. Yeah, it's just the way the template fell. All right, so look at this. Can you guys see that? I guess you can't really see that. One second. Snap to center, right? 15. 20 to the edge. Hmm. Maybe I didn't place it right. Maybe it is a little bit bigger. You put it in the middle of a square in the middle of that square. Nope, it's got to go to the northwest one square. It needs to be a little bigger. Oops. Yep, just like, oh, nope, up one. <laughs> that bloody thing won't, would you stay right there? The tail of the squirmy fireball. That's where it should be right there. That's where it should be right there, because you guys are like just trying to cover her with it, right? Now, mm -hmm. if I put this back on the... Let's put this on the map layer. Nope, that doesn't work. Let's put this on <clears throat> the map layer. Let's put this on the GM layer. Okay. Nope, I can't see it anymore. No, but draw your line from your point of origin, right? You need line of sight. So you can't place it behind a statue where you can't see. Right? You still need line of sight. That's part of the spell description. Sure, nothing nope. comes out of your finger and goes, but you can't, like, I'm going to put it on the other side of the wall where I can't see. Looks like he has line of sight to me. Oh, this is why I wanted to draw the line. No, that looks yeah. that looks good. Yeah. Yep. It goes right, right to where Aiden's pointing. Yep, no, that's good. That's all good. Okay, so, oops. What happened? Strange things are happening. Stranger things are happening here. 
Let's bring this back to life. Vump. And here we go. Kaboom. And it engulfs both the apprentice, the statue, and I'm invisible, so you're not sure if you get her or not. But we'll know soon enough. Anything else, Tariff? How many chevrons does that burn? How many actions does that burn? Two? Three? That was three. That was yeah, three. Yeah, okay. one chevron move, two chevron cast. Okay. Well, we do hear screaming and rage. From, My from eye! From two people. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! My hair! Unless I have a bunch of fire resistance up or fire. You know, I was pre you know, for this fight. Who knows? We shall see. Squee! Yes. Oh, pretty fire. Man, that is wow. some impressive damage. Dude, stop it. He didn't even Wait, tell us what he's doing uh, yet. Hold up. <laughs> uh, fireball oh, should yeah. be two more D6, Frank. No, mine's only a six die six. Uh, why? It, it's uh, domain power. It just says it's six die six. Okay, but it should. Well, all the base like spells were moved. Like that was moved up to base eight die six. Should you? I'm I'm thinking you're probably referring to like a spell power. So it probably is still based on the spell. He's like fifth okay. level, right? Yeah. Well, it just says fireball uh, five hundred range explodes in a twenty die that does six die six. Yeah, that's increased so, to eight die six okay. based off the uh, fifth or sixth patch, I think. Yeah, fifth patch. Update so then, five fifth level guy doesn't do a fair. five d six. He does. I could, you know, you sure you're not mixing divine and arcane here? I'm, I'm positive, Jeff. It doesn't discriminate between oh. Divine Fireball and Arcane Fireball just says Fireball increased initial damage to 8d6. In, about what? Like, there's no reference. What are you talking about? That's in the, the addendum. Yeah, the playtest addendum. Okay, so even, a f even like the... F oh, okay, you can't really cast a Fireball until you get to 5th level. So even the smallest one is 8d6 and it just goes up from there? Yeah. Right. Okay. You can spend s spell no, slots. That, on that, that's fine. I just need you like... Give us, give me and the audience a starting point. You know, I thought oh, you were talking fun. about like uh, enhancing a spell or something, and yeah, okay. No, no, right? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> so, so I click, I uh, reclick the die roller with the correct number of dice, but just take the last two die rolls. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you know, I get rid of those ones. <laughs> yeah, it took twenty points more damage. No, it should have done a total of fifteen points of damage. Reflex save for half. Okay, Mister Mercer. Coming forth as there we go. our NPC tonight. To work. Okay, so for Six, Nagasi, seven, this five. is her Save reflex five. roll. Yeah. I don't know. Now the advantage is you guys get to see this stuff and see exactly how she's doing. Three! That does not look good. Equals <laughs> yeah. Not bad. What's the DC on your spell there, Frank? It's Sorry, I, I, I was flipping through the 18 pages I've got up. Uh, it's DC 19. Okay, so that would be a fail. So it takes full damage unless you have any fire resistance or anything up and running there. Negative. Negative. So it takes 15 points of damage. Would you be a deer and just take that directly off of your... Uh... Yeah, take it. <laughs> yeah, this is the I old man. <laughs> and this is for the apprentice. And... Nagasi. Are we all out of fireballs? Can I put that template away now? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have done. one more. Not if I want to use it. Alright. I might not. How'd the apprentice do? 19. Oh, he's doing fine. <laughs> Yoink jumps behind a bench. I'm fine. You okay, mistress? Alright. No problem. Well, actually, there is a problem because somebody deleted my Nagasi. Jared, did you delete the mini by clicking on it? Negative. I think that happened when you were playing around with the fireball. Oh, you only had one job. One job! Let's babysit Nagasi. Okay. She was there. If only she had a clerk from behind! Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Don't point out where she was. They still don't know where she is. Fireball doesn't oh. like drop your. No, I, I, I'm I'm measuring something else out. Ignore me. Okay. No, I just like Jerry's like he was. She was here. I was like, uh, you went to Ultra trouble being invisible. Don't suddenly point out your location. Well, the I thought, apprentice was I thought the, one the was apprentice invisible. was invisible, not her. Was invisible? What? The yeah. apprentice was the one that was in- invisible. She was still. She doesn't have invisibility. Yeah, she was chilling oh, right. at the front bench. Right. The apprentice last saw was at the back bench. The north. You are right. West. You're absolutely right. When you're right, you're right. Aren't I always right, Jeff? Hardly. Moving on. Squee, you're up. Right. Nagasi is next. <clears throat> My uh, move twice. What do I see? You see a woman that's, you know, on fire. <laughs> not, not happy with some of her life choices that, like, might have led her to this point, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, good, good time to maybe rethink my life and put out some flames. Uh, uh, where do I see this woman? <laughs> I don't see anything on the screen. So I know. I'm, I'm stalling while I dig up a new mini. because. <laughs> Don't pin me. Don't pin the DM in the corner. The DM won't be nice and benevolent, benevolent to you like, like I am in other podcasts. All right. There we go. I am here. I believe. Okay. Fair enough. New mini. So. There you go. Okay. There's my... Three actions. I am done. Three actions and you're done. Yep. And it just got you there? Well, it's... <laughs> two got me there. Another ten feet. There's three actions. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he's got those <laughs> tiny little legs. Oh, Jeff, you moved 25, man. <laughs> All right, yeah. Nice of you not to wait on the corner and, and risk uh, her getting some kind of strange cover bonus because of your height or whatever. So that's, that's cool. Okay. Nagasi, you are up. There we go. That button does not like to be clicked. Mm. Okay, so Nagasi is going to disengage diagonally from Squee. Okay. Yep. Done. And drop a wall of fire because she doesn't like getting outnumbered across the entrance. Ooh. Divide and conquer. Oh, I like that. Um, Starting there from that point since I believe that'll work or even or starting just, here might be even better just run the rim right there boom goes 60 feet across all right and how thick is this wall five feet thick 10 feet tall 60 feet long okay so while you conjure up that little miracle you know um i appreciate you playing Nagasi, but i'm just not feeling it if only i had to you know, I don't really do a convincing woman. If only we had someone to like uh, maybe cry out in rage. You know, I mean, it's a very angry woman. Her plans are, you know, she's she's gotten away with murder. She got cocky at a party. She was bragging about having the book, and now you guys show up. She gets cornered. She dumps a bunch of spells and thinks she can get rid of you easily, and a couple spells, and then you guys will pull out the big guns and forcing her to really dig deep into some nasty spells. It might be a problem. I mean, what would uh, what do you think she'd have to say about that? Oh, you assholes! <laughs> yeah, I wasn't asking everybody. I was, I was building up for someone specific, but we'll go with that. <laughs> oh, you assholes! Okay, you don't have to all do. <laughs> you don't have to all do it. That's okay. Best, best that's voice that's ever. That's yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Trying to trying to build up for a little cameo for somebody else, but that, that, that's fine. That that there's no taking that back ever. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> new tagline. 
Isn't there like a D and D way to swear? You know, it was all about uh, poser not swearing in like sort of a Star Wars fashion before. But um... all right, so Wall of Fire is a major spell. How many chevron? How many actions are we burning? Three there? Okay. actions. Total. All right. So while I conjure up this wall, wait, did she move? Yes, she has. She has four actions because she's hasted. Oh, okay. Okay. The, I, I, I figured you knew what you were doing. Just wanted to make sure. No, no, I don't have. No, I can explain. No, it. by asking, it's just like asking the DM, going, "Hey, you know what happened to the, you know." Now you don't have to say why, but you can say, "No, it's all right. It's you know, she has something." You don't have to like show her hand, but it's all, it's all legal. All Is right. that legal? Is that legal? So I'm conjuring up my 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Oop, that's a little long. Yep. 60 foot wall. Boing. Here we go. You know what? It's uh, it's kind of being covered up by... Oh, we have so many people in the, uh, the lobby here. She's a little covered up, so... Look at that wall. Isn't that pretty? That's, that's, a, that's, a, uh... that's a pretty wall. And you guys outside are going to have Did to... Mexico pay for it? Oh, zing, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> we usually try and stay away from politics and, you know, things in the podcast, but yeah, that... <clears throat> I don't care who you are, that was funny. So, moving on. Nagasi is done. Yes, sir. And now it's time for the apprentice. You're fired. <laughs> and those types of jokes just keep coming, right? Just... Oh, you opened the door. I did. I did. I like whipped it open. That's so bad. Okay. All right. Bring the apprentice around the statue in the center towards the left. To get line of sight on Squee. Okay. And then... And then... We are going to... Drop a burning hands on him. Oh. All right. Reflex save... Uh, so... you For possible half or better. Suddenly appear. Right? By, yep. By attacking. Hello! Yep. Good morning. And that right there is why sneak attack is broken. And now the fireball. Okay. And reflex and damage from both the victim and the instigator. Reflex is a DC 17 for half. Unless critical failure. So, you guys see this? Yes. The little the little tag at the very corner. You can't really see it very well, but you see how there's like a target. I put that on the caster, and I have two templates, and there's this one. You know, whoosh gets the job done. Whoosh. However, uh, now you still have a good line, so I don't think I can really give Squeak cover there. Right. Whoosh. And done. And damage. Eight damage. Eight damage. And reflex for half from Squee. Roll him, Joe. Yes. Already rolled. What'd he you got get? a 16. Missed by one. Oh, so you need 17. Yes. Good. Terribly sorry. Uh, any fire, fire abilities? You're like a goblin, man. Fire get... resistance of two. Oh, so that eight is actually... Flames. Well, that's not so bad. Yep. Well, not so bad. Not bad at all. That's Bring not... it on. That's not too bad. Jared, stop playing with the effects. I wasn't trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out of it. Remove the GM this from you. <laughs> Round nine. Kane. 
Alright, give me a sec. Uh... Abdima, you're on deck. Alright, so I see the fire. Um... Yep. How thick are these windows? On the side. They're windows. Okay. Not very thick. Then I'm going to walk up to this one and mm -hmm. I'm going to well, while walking, draw my sword and okay. I'm going to smash this window open. Alright, you see flames directly, practically on the other side of it. Okay. But you do see the end of the flame wall. Well, uh, would you treat this, or what would you treat this uh, area as? Would this would be like, like a five foot like It's a wall. It's a garden wall. Okay. It's, so I could, it's could I walk onto it, or is it above me? Oh, I see, because of the window or whatever. Well, it would come up yeah. to the bottom of the window, so it's so probably it's, it's probably flush with the. I would guess it's flush with the bottom of the window. So let's say okay. the window is like waist height. Okay, so I break the window and I can like step up to it and then walk along it. Okay, and our knowledge arcana. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll figure out what that is first. Knowledge of the arcane. Well, that. You know what I mean. <laughs> they got you there. True. Yeah, you did. You'll forgive me because I'm going to help you. <laughs> uh, 20. That wall radiates heat damage about 5, 10 feet, does it not? Hey, Jeff, are you recording on Suncaster? Yeah. No. Apparently not. OBS it is. OBS it is. We're fine. We're fine. Thought I was. Good eye, Frank. Good eye. Yeah. Uh, no, it does not radiate outside. No, 27 like minutes you. late on that one, but thank you. <laughs> Moving on. Better late than never. That's right. Uh, sorry, 10 feet. Right? No. It doesn't radiate. It is 10 feet tall. You have to either start your turn in it or pass through it to take its damage. No more putting pushing heat off one side of a wall fire? Nope, not anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. So with yeah, your knowledge, Arcana, you know, it's not like the good old days. Firewalls just aren't what they used to be, and you should be able to step out here <laughs> safely as long as you don't pass through the wall. Hey, it's knowledge is knowledge. You're a little concerned that this fire hot, fire burn, fire bad, you know, but, you know, it doesn't yeah. seem to be smoking the wind, so you should be good. Okay, cool. Then yep. I will shuffle along the edge. Whoa, 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 back up. Breaking the window with what? Uh, sword. Attacking the window. Damage. Item. Oh. All that hardness. stuff. Hardness. Yep. <laughs> okay, right, right. Hardness and whatnot. Okay, all right. Give me a second. Let me figure out damage. And who has access to second edition hardness chart? I got it. And what are we looking at there? Well, let's see. It ranges Four. from... Four. So you got to do at least five points of damage to put a crack in this sucker. But its hit point should be pretty low. Yeah. yeah, it only takes one down. Yeah. Still. Two. Ding! Nope. That's a tough <laughs> window, dude. It's heat tempered from the other side. No, wait a minute. You just suck because the wall doesn't give off heat. I can't even give you that. You're just not doing very well with your sword there, Thorthor. 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 Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Uh, okay. Wait, so is drawing the sword a... A part of a move action still? Yes, you can you can include it into a move action if your base attack bonus is higher than one. Yeah, so you walk up to the window pulling out your stick. And quick then quick knowledge or can't now, does using a skill, does that not take an action? Right? If you called for it, but you didn't. I just I just called for it, so it's a freebie because the DM went, hey, pops in your head, right? So no action burnt there, but some skill checks do take actions. Yeah, if, if, it, if it has a physical motion involved, yeah. knowledge checks do not. Okay. So that's a freebie. He whacks. Okay. It only does two points out of the four or five necessary and has a has an action left over. Yep. Go for a second whack. Ding. Uh, eight out of eight on the die for nine. Okay. Smash the window open. The window smashes. What's your armor class? Projectile glass. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Look, I'm not expecting any of this. So give Smash. Me the window explodes. Yeah. 
Dealing hey. just enough damage. Oh, I rolled a crit on that, so uh, uh twenty glass heart shots out of shards your neck. of Hey, be happy I'm not saying these windows aren't like magically reinforced in this magical land at this high end magical party. And he just hey, whack away is like glass steel. You ever think of that? No, I'm a very nice DM. So take your miscule damage and like it. Okay. What was the attack on me? Fifteen. Okay, then it doesn't hit. Okay. Doesn't it touch or regular AC? It shatters around you. You close your eyes. You hold up your your cape, and you know nothing flying around. Okay, I don't have a cape. I was oh. never described with a cape. <laughs> Sorry, your Arctic wolves. Please tell me you get like the the wolf's head that you wear. You know. No. That I don't. I don't know where I'm getting that inspiration from. Sorry. Because I'm an Arctic elf. <laughs> I'm yeah. from the north. That doesn't necessarily mean I enjoy wearing animals' pelts. I like animals. Okay. You just don't like windows. Yeah. Fuck okay. windows. <laughs> All right. Look, they they keep nature outside when nature should be everywhere. Okay. So window has been dealt with, and I believe you are done. Yes. Yes. All right, Abdima, you are up. Maricel, you are on deck. Abdima. Abdima, being quite upset about the wall, moves up right in front of it. With the horsey? With the horsey. I can't move the horsey. I got the horsey. Okay. And begins yelling out at the wizard. You're such a coward. You cannot even have, you cannot even face a wiz, a fellow wizard. You can do it. You can fight me, can't you? No, no. You're too high, too scared to hide. You must hide behind a wall of fire. How cowardly. Attempting intimidation checks for, uh, what's the word? Um, demoralize? Yes, demoralize. Is that, uh, does that carry over in the second edition? Yes, it does. It's a big thing, actually. It's one of the things you can do for your third if you're worried about not hitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I move up, I hit. Hmm, maybe I'll just intimidate and demoralize. All right. <clears throat> he was in 30 feet. Sorry? Only works within 30 feet in line of sight, right? Yes, yeah. line of sight, 30 feet. Cannot see you too oh. far away. But hey, okay. still, I still appreciate the role play in the attempt. Um, and I, I straight up cannot see through this wall of fire, right? Correct. Mm, no. Okay. I still um, really like, like, even though it might not have a dice effect, I could still see you doing this. This is cool. Anyway, also, you're not sure where she is. So I'm going to have you burn it. It was such a cool thing. So one to get up there, um, one action to, you know, attempt, realizing it's folly, one action left. Um, I'm going to now be holding and waiting for the uh, waiting for the wall to go. Okay. Do you have anything to bring it down, magical man? Absolutely not. Okay, just checking. Maricel, you are up. Arles, you are on deck. I am going to take my full round action to hide. Okay. Using stealth for a total of a 29. Where are you? Oh, okay. So behind you, the bushes. You go over the bush Hiding. and you just kind of like, oh, everyone's ha! really busy. And I jump down, get down behind the bush. Okay. Yes, I, and I'm doing this to prove that um, Rogue is broken. Okay. So that's that's it. That's all I got. Full full round action to hide. Okay, but once you hide, do you have to make a stealth check every time you move every round? No, nope, I get to move it at half my movement rate, yeah. um, and I, everything rolls goes off of my initial roll okay. for their detection. Okay. Uh, tech technically, though, I should actually state this in the book. It does say that you are supposed to make my stealth rolls. Ah, what's your plus? Ten. Okay. I'll hold that number and we'll let you know. Okay. Because if I'm supposed to make it, I'm not supposed to tell you, right? Right. Okay. Uh, Arles. I will continue to advance. All right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen. You're going all the way around the plants for like a flanking yeah. position? Correct. Okay. That's my go. All right. 
And I give a aha. A waha? No. Aha. 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 All right. No sneaking. Got it. Arif, you're up. Squee, you're on deck. Okay, so... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to try to dispel the wall of fire. Hey. Hey. And let's see. So the wall of fire, what spell level is that? Uh, fourth, is it not? Fourth level spell. Yep. So, so I am using a third level spell to dispel a fourth level spell. So I suffer a minus five penalty to the DC. So what's the DC of the spell? And then it's a skill roll for me. If that the makes sense. For the spell to dispel it without your plus five would be 21. And so 26. Nearly impossible. But we'll give it a try. Hang on just one second. Let me type in the correct die number here. 17. Fails to dispel. Okay. Anything else? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move over to this window right there. Which I can't make it that far, but I'm done. Okay. So just back off to your 30 or whatever, and we'll move on to the Mighty Squee. Hey, hey. For the Mighty Quinn, we have the Mighty Squee. The Mighty Squee. The come, mighty on. squee. come on, Squee. What do you got we'll for us, buddy? charge. <clears throat> okay. Sudden charge. So, same thing. Right? As soon as I move my little guy. Mm-hmm. You're more than 10 feet away, so you're okay. Well, actually, you're five feet away. Yep, but... <laughs> Can you activate a sudden charge with only being five feet away? Yep. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Swing. Natural 20. Ooh. Now, in between games, you talked about picking up the wrong pick. We've been going on about your damage forever, and we finally discovered yeah. that you have the wrong weapon. Yeah, I have a Just... light pick instead of a... Like... Excuse me, instead of a military pick. So, yeah. Okay. It's all right. So, in case everyone was wondering why or, you know, screaming at the thing, we finally figured that out. Whoops. But you've had this for the whole game, so. Yep, I'm going to stick with it. Okay. So, Good man. There's, there's attack one. Yep. Attack two. A neon green rolling a d20. Don't oh, see that every day. No. And then, uh, sorry, I didn't add my modifiers. So. As I'm looking at my sheets, trying to remember what everything is. <laughs> do you do you confirm so crits would, on this? Yeah. You know what? We've been so long since we tried to. No, we do not nope. confirm crits anymore. anymore. Right. So it's a crit. Her it's AC a crit, is... and then my second attack is that misses. Is uh, I have to add my pluses. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no. What about the twenty? I'm looking for like the critical on the twenty. So the 20 turns into a 27, and then my 14 turns into a 16. I love how you you guys are role-playing in the chat here. This is Pat on shoulder from Arles and Master Earth going sniff sniff, popping up for all to see. All right. So I I know the natural 20 hits. And I get to do my lovely D4 plus D8. Okay. You have two people. Who are you attacking? Uh, the guy who's on fire. Or, sorry, this one. You're going to be pain. The apprentice? The apprentice that yeah. fireballed you? Or yeah. burning hands you? No. The girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. The one that was standing before. <clears throat> yeah. The up. murderer. <laughs> this hurt. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah, just let me uh, roll my dice here. So Nagasi, while you're about to suffer a toe pick to the toe, what have you got for us? 
besides screaming ouch and pain as this little dude has at you with nine points. You're still doing Plus it wrong. Fatal. <laughs> fatal. The fatal trait includes a die size. On a critical hit, all the weapon's damage dice increase to that die size instead of normal. Plus, the weapon adds another die of that damage to the listed size. Oh, thank you. So you do 3d8. Thank you. Okay. okay. Let's redo that then. Now, is that is that times two because of the crit? The times two is like for the 1d8, 2d8, and then you do an extra d8 on top of that. So 23 plus... Yeah. How you, how you feeling there, Nagasi? You tracking your points? So 23 plus yes, 15, is that what I'm seeing? No, you're seeing the 23 plus 3. So 26. 26? Yeah, 23. Nice. Okay. Take that! Oh, pick! Off the toe! Ouch. Another one to add the, to the old toe I'm, collection I'm there, Squeak. Big bad, to she's a big a bad arc lord. I don't think a little toe when pick's I'm gonna. Done with you. Sorry. I'm going to turn you into a little green toilet rug when I'm done with you. <laughs> okay. Well, that's better than just profanity, I suppose. <laughs> so Nagasi, um, <clears throat> what have you got for us? Apprentices on deck. I actually have a female voice actress that's in some of okay. the shows waiting in the rings, wings looking at us and is politely just giggling because everyone keeps stealing lines. There's such a lead in there, but hey, you know, it's second edition. We're trying new things, you know. I'm surprised she's just happy to watch us play. We uh, don't uh, put gender lines into our uh, production here at Rollmongers. <laughs> of course not. But when I invite someone to sit in a game going, hey, would you mind running some lines with us and like, you know, cameo in this pod? She goes, sure. And then she's just opening up her mic and one of you guys scream, asshole! <laughs> so, you know, I, feel the, I feel the need to point that out or at least apologize publicly. But uh, no. No, uh, Aiden's a very convincing woman. Moving on. Nagasi. And Jared now is in there just going, I'm going to turn you into a ruggy bean paste. So, you know. Yes. Uh, Nagasi is going to make a stride backwards okay, and a second stride backwards. And I will use my attack of opportunity because I'm a fighter. You move out of my range, I still get to attack. Yep. Go so by stride, he meant guarded step. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blink that. step. That's what I was doing. Blink step. Yeah. Damn it, Mercer. <laughs> this coffee's cold. And you're not you're not striding, you're you're guarded stepping. Okay. So take it. I'm doing it. Expect the unexpected from this little goblin who Ooh, how's a big uh, nineteen. Misses. Okay. Unless it's against touch. No. So it's a pick. Against touch. So yeah, it misses. We're good. She grabs her magical staff and aims it at the guy sneaking around the bushes. Unless he's invisible. Nope. Hey, he's if not anything, sneaking. he got there and went, hey. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> like announced, yeah. I am not sneaking. If anything, I'm I'm making you hey, look guys. at my shiny armor so the rogue can sneak. I mean, there's no rogue smokes, so you know. I just want to say, did you see how shiny this breastplate is? It's like really shiny. She's going to hit you with a acid arrow. Ah, and that's an yes. attack roll, yeah? Yes, it is. All right. And it is plus 15. Lovely. Lovely. Stick it to them, girl. Yes, no, no. That one. Does 24 hit your touch, AC? Barely. <laughs> it almost misses, but then I see your look of dis dispression. I'm like, then I jump into it. <laughs> I like that color. <laughs> Ooh, green. <laughs> Take that as a yes. Yeah. And damage? Damage? I got... No. 
Eight. There is no damage. Does the armor damage? I I got this. Holy crap! It's all for staff. That's so nasty. Your staff is mighty. And that's her turn. All right, and the apprentice. The goblin the right in front of him is going to. Ooh, I've got to remove my dice roller so I can actually see them. Take a guarded step. Yes, going to take a step backwards. A guarded step. Guarded, guardedly. Yes. Does that burn an extra action? Or just it's one? just one of standard actions. You right. know, one one little. Gotcha. And. Now Dropping me. a flaming sphere on top of the uh, barbecue. Ooh. Now there's a mini I never get tired of bringing up. Okay. And you conjure it right on him. Yes, drop it right on top of him. And he has to what now? Is this an attack roll from you? Reflex is a reflex from him? Reflex save. Okay. And DC 17. There you go. And that is why I can't... Oh, 15. Someone's not to some me. Sorry. So I forgot that. I can't see too many freaking screens in my way. I rolled a big whopping 16. Yay. 14 damage and 1d6 persistent on Ooh. the start of his turn. All right. So you want to drop that by two, please? And that is the apprentice's turn. See, master, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Ha ha ha. So what was your total before we get into persistent? 14. Okay, so it's actually 12 you suffer, Squeak, because you have two points of fire no, resistance. Right. Two points of fire resistance. Right. And that brings us to the beginning of round 10. And it can go either way, either sided. But I'm afraid we're going to have to find out next time. When you'll hear Squee say, I'm a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing works. lines is what we do. Good night, yeah. everybody. <laughs>